What is up guys, welcome in, my name is Nick and welcome to the channel and welcome to a slightly different video this time. Um, so a week ago from when you're seeing this, I did our own version of the um, Spa 24 hours as it was the Fanatec GT World Endurance Challenge thing words uh last week so we did a watch with my um bpm community on my discord the link for that is in the description if you do want to jump in we are working on getting more regular races i am just quite busy at the moment with stuff uh irl as the kids say in in real life that horrible horrible thing we have to deal with day in and day out uh yes so this is basically just um the recording of that of us just saw hanging out and uh, surviving the spa and um yeah i thought i'd just post it up for you guys to enjoy it so yeah let's um let's get to it standing start right standing start random grid order yeah uh it's on okay. variable weather i can't tell if it's raining or not <coughs> moment, so i'm on mediums then put me on wet so i'm assuming that the game yeah that's that that was my logic as well it didn't put me on wet so therefore it's not wet enough for him That is 50 laps, full damage, full tyre, full fuel. Um, I think it's either on no penalties or minor penalties. Basically, if you cut the track on Eau Rouge or something like that, just lift off and do a token lift. If you uh, know you cut the track. No ghosted back markers, so call out. What is it that uh, iRacing says, uh, slow down? Slow down. Yeah, I, tried yeah. that and I tried that in the lobbies and it still gave me the penalty, man. It's it's a bit. It can be a bit hit or miss sometimes. Whoa. Oh, that's my girl. Oh. Sorry. Why does my game look like poop? Hello. Oh god, hello. Minor car park there at the start. That is a very shiny Acura. And by that I mean Honda. Okay, so there we go. Whoa, not breaking. Shit, you breaked a lot earlier than I was expecting. Sorry about that, Nick. If that's not gonna work. He just caught me out by like a couple of yards. That was all. Yeah, I have to break a little bit earlier on the downhills on this track. I'm also used to doing this with like softs and low fuel for the time attack. So just <coughs> relearning mediums and full tank. Norris. All right, Tokyo Drift, calm down. I knew this would happen. I mean, I'm just sat there watching the back of Minty's car drift through every corner at the moment. Upload a couple of designs for Horizon 5, so I did man that way I could get the stickers for that. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, it's one thing I hadn't done is put the Mugen the, the, the Power badge in that there. But I knew that I had a couple of designs there where it was owned, so it was just a case of getting that, get that particular car, loading the design up, and getting into it and saving it. Jumping as I looked behind, I saw you. I smiled and started nodding my head. Okay. Well, apparently, I'm going to pit lane the wrong way around. Let's try that again. I know what the next two hours is going to be. Yeah. <laughs> it's, all, it's always the same every time. Yeah, we better damage. I think I've managed to escape with that damage. Oh, God. 
I'll get time for VRAM overload. I'd start I had. <laughs> yeah, just tie away that thing that damage the body. Good. How did I not get a penalty for that? Going past your buster on your right. Thank you. So, either turn the penalties off or they are at their weakest, so it's mostly just there, so if you know you've, uh, there's a track cut alert more than anything else. Let's say, if you do get one, just a little lift, just to acknowledge. Hopefully I'll get our roof done right at one point in this race. Just realised I've been muted all this time. My apologies. <laughs> no worries, mate. <laughs> no worries. We're my grandson came in to say, say goodnight, so I muted my mic, then the race started and totally forgot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Superman, I did see you come in, that's why I hung left. I'm sorry, right. Jibber, I was getting all nervous with you breaking, right, with you breathing down my neck. That's why I fucking fucked up. No worries. I just thought if I stayed out of the way and let you lot go by. And if Nick, uh, if you could just stay 13 seconds behind, I think I'll have a great evening, to be fair. Oh, uh, mate, based on how I'm driving, I'm going to be lucky if I stay this close. Oh, shit! That's... <laughs> oh, god damn it! That sounds like no! two people. Have... Oh, god damn it! Two of them. Two very much! I'll take that. <laughs> uh, did, did someone fuck up our rouge by any chance? Yes, we yeah, did. I saw a red oh. viper going around and I lost it trying oh. to dodge them. On the left, on the left, on the right. The red right. Map. Yeah, I see you. I see and you. I'm trying to. No. Fuck I'm him. super damaged. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, F Mister. Oh, well, that went well. Yeah. Yeah, I caught like a really nasty oscillation when I tried to dodge. Yeah, you need to work on dodging, more, dodging some more wrenches, mate. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a car. I dodged the car, but not the wall that was behind the car. Ah, well, walls are very tricky. They do often move. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Uh, neither am I. I thought I was going to be sat for a very boring first stint. Yeah, for there's nothing I could do. I had no wheels on the road, which is just no surprise. Nah, it's all good. <laughs> this is part of the fun of Spa, is you have to do a rouge every single fucking map. But if I make it there in the next 10 minutes, that's the pit. So I'm surprised people are asking for it in the rain, to be fair, because that's instant death. No rouge in the wet. Yeah, to be but fair, Spa. if I wasn't sweating before, I am now sweating now. <laughs> Spa, you need to have to deal with that rouge in the wet, otherwise have you really One of the worst spa? crashes in Formula 1 I ever remember was that, the one well, before O Rouge. They also killed, don't forget, there was the, uh, the one that killed Antoine Hubert a few years ago. Yeah. Rouge in FT. That was, I just don't, uh, I just don't think one, this right? is one of those racetracks you should race in the wet. And there's the... Didn't it take out 13 cars, that crash? Wasn't it 92, yeah. weren't it? Yeah, it's cool 92, 92. Yeah. Yeah. There's the one where Coulthard calls it and Schumacher wanna go punch him in the head. That's the one Schumacher banned into the McLaren garage. Yeah, that's it. To square the goal with him. Yeah, that's him. I mean, everybody said the same thing, you know what I mean? It's, 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 Coulthard was to the left. He was going so slow Schumacher. on the left, yeah. Aye, so Schumacher should have known. I mean, you'd think someday with his experience as a, like a racing, you know what I mean, he would be like, right, okay, well, he's on the left, overtake on the right. Yeah. But Let's just don't drive for the bit that's that, causing the spray, I guess. Probably a good idea. Decided to fucking drive halfway up in the back of his car, then blame him for it. <laughs> yeah. 
these tackies are lasting a bit longer than I thought they would do. Yeah, I was just spotting that as well. I'm like, oh, five laps, I need to think about pitting soon. Nope, okay, I've still got two, quarter, two thirds of the grip left. Really should need to stay on the track. I'll be going a lot quicker if I didn't have to lift like three times a lap. It's also a lot quicker if you don't crash at the roof. Yeah, I've got, I mean, I've got that bit. Touch wood, I've got that bit okay so far. It's uh, all the other bits that I'm struggling with at the moment. But I'm dropping probably two seconds a lap just having to lift because I keep running fucking wide. Well, I mean, other people are going to have to deal with it. This is on variable weather, so there's everyone's got a very high chance of fucking it into the wall at some point. I probably should stop swearing as much in my videos as I do, but... Why? Yeah, give yourself more editing, mate. Yeah, well, I, uh, someone made the comment about it earlier, like a bloke, a uh, guy I used to work with, um, made a comment going, cool, you aren't off swearing when you race. I go, no, it's just one normal level of swearing. You just know work me where I don't swear as much. <laughs> so I, I, I see swearing like herbs on food. It's there to add flavour and variance to exactly, an otherwise yeah, bland meal. It, yeah. Exactly. Emphasis yeah. on the words. Uh, swearing is a salt and pepper for the sentence. Then you throw the sea bomb in just if you want a bit of cayenne pepper on there. <laughs> At this rate, I catch Jibber up in about 55 laps. Unfortunately, it's only a 50 lap race, mate, so you might want to put your foot down a little bit more. News for you, because I've done six of them already. It's only a 45 lap race now. 44 lap mm. race. But we got it's going to be a uh, rain in about oh I'm going to hesitate a guess and say 22 laps or 19 laps. Oh, I missed it up. It's nice if they just that variable like started dry, went wet, and then dry again. Yeah, you mean if variable was actually variable and not just change. I swear they had it in Motorsport 7 where you could like artificially set the weather and you could do like three changes. Uh, yeah, I think they had like time slots you could set it as like beginning, uh, middle and end of the race. But considering they took basically everything out of the Motorsport 7 when they made this. Well, it's because they get to add it back in as a feature later on. Marketing 101, take the stuff out you've already got to add it back in and as a new feature. Only that wasn't how the game would do work in the day. But, well, I was going to say there is a microtransaction, but there is there's a car pass and the uh, Porsche pack they just released. But yeah, they do have that. Porsche pack wasn't so bad, but it was free for the first week. Yeah, that was pretty cool to be fair. <laughs> Giving it out for free for a little while. Rewarding the people who play it regularly. It's quite a nice touch. Surprised when I loaded it up and it said there was a pre car there. I was like, oh, thank you very much. Ow, At least they do add about two free cars a month. Yeah, and we've had what, six tracks for free. I mean, granted, they're tracks that are already existed in Forza, but. Some of the tracks remain free. The cars be able to take because you don't want them, you don't buy them. Yeah, it's pretty cool. like yeah, paying for cars you may or may not want is fine. Tracks, everyone's gonna want more tracks, so also then that issues with I kinda of want them to go through and add more variants to tracks they've already got in as well. There's not not all the uh, variants have been catered for for a lot of tracks. Ooh, hello, you're doing very sad with that. I bet he makes sure they didn't spin right out and wipe you out there, man. <laughs> I don't need your help with that. I already crashed into the wall once. 
uh, despicable we are with flags. Anyone know actually ended up winning uh, Spa this year? I saw Rossi's team was leading uh, around six hours in. Aston Martin team. Oh, did um, it? Sorensen won, yeah. it? Yes. They With got it. Drudy and I don't remember the third guy. Didn't they, uh, didn't they get polled as well? Or the second? I can't remember. Um, I haven't watched qualifying. Uh, oh, no, and I don't remember start, start of the race. They're in the, they're in the hunt for pole, I remember that. I saw uh, the WRT BMW was leading it around the. Uh, yeah, they did, six dude, hour but race. they finished, I think, outside of top 10. Uh, they're prob when I, whenever I tuned in, they're probably off schedule. They lost a front bumper. Oh, uh, right. Um, they pitted under yellow, um, full, full course yellow. Yeah. You got um, those which time means they, in there. they. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't lose much time, but still, they lost three positions, and... Um... Uh -oh. Oh, Curious drops? Yeah. yeah. That PC thing? Perhaps. He's not said anything, so it sounds like it might be a PC thing. Drop in the Discord as well, so yeah, probably. Did you take fuel, space Yes. Okay, like, it was a measurable in my days, room. It was at a PC. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll the race. I'll try to catch up for the next one. Yeah, sorry, man. Yeah, it happens. Such is life. Okay, bye for now. Catch you later, man. See ya. Oh, Thank you. Watch out, Spitzog. Yeah. I spun it there, you know what I mean? So I was just staying inside. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Spitzog, you're It's not the best entry to pit lane I've ever had. Hey, finally gone to moderates. Oh, I had a little bit of drive train damage, that might be more a bit slow. Control not where I was expecting it to. So uh, interesting. A lot here. Uh, interesting the place that it gives you control after the pit. It doesn't like straight yep. you up. It just throws you yeah, out like, crazy. like 45 degree angle to the track. Like have fun. Go play in traffic, kid. The only good thing about it is it doesn't give you a penalty for it. Yeah. It tells you your track limits, but it doesn't give you a penalty. It's just like oh god, I was expecting it to at least put me like parallel with the track. Nope, there's 90 degrees to the flow of traffic. Did manage to make up some time as well, so that's good. I'm doing about 1.6, 1.7 laps slower. Got a bit of drivetrain damage or something? I oh, possibly, I don't know. Have you ever revved at some point? It's really easy to do with the damage on, it's just over revving on downshifts. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing, so probably. Yeah, because full, full damage is on if you over. Oh, fuck's sake. If you over rev on uh, downshifts, you can, it's very easy to damage the drivetrain, it just sort of takes about 10 50 mile an hour off the top end. Did that, uh, drive, like, drive, didn't you at least half a rev before I start uh, driving gears? Yeah, you just got to be a bit more concerned yeah, with the in. You can't use the multiplayer downshifts where you just spam it down the gear.
That'll be right then. Information to me. Oh, yeah, they, they do have a little bit of getting used to this by going through erosion there at the end of the kebble I found. I like the pork pies that have got the touch of Branson pickle in them. I haven't had dinner, Honestly, don't, don't start talking about food, I haven't had dinner yet. I had a nap instead. I, nearby, you know, I must have not had nothing either, I'll be getting dinner for me and my, when my daughter going to her mother's for the week, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because obviously school holidays, just me and my son. So, he's like me, he can eat uh, anything. <laughs> it's going to be making sure I don't order in, it's going to be the main thing. It's not confirmed if I'm doing that or not yet, but I'll try and not. Is there a time scale for this race? No, it's it's two hour. Uh, it's, uh, sorry, uh, twelve x. So it's two hour race. We'll do full twenty four hour. Cool. So, so do full day night cycle. Sounds good. Thank you. Ooh, oh, shit. traffic. Oh, I, was, I just nearly sent the engine to the moon. Uh, I'm going to be coming up on your in, uh, inside just after the chicane. And I'm not doing that again by pressing the up key. Ooh. Yeah, so when I pit, I fixed a 3% drivetrain issue. And uh, it's found me two seconds a lap, so if you are that far off your lap place, it's probably a little bit of drive, uh, drive trade damage. Three seconds now. It might be worth just peeing and get fixing the drive train if you're losing three seconds a lap. Thing. What am I going to do? Tick a box or what? Yeah, when it comes up after you choose your pit and your fuel, it'll say uh, it'll say have uh, drive train percentage damage, and just press uh, make sure the box is ticked and press submit. Two seconds. Point two two seconds. Sorry. Yeah, it takes like no time to fix. It's just you know, it absolutely kills your straight line speed and like a few percentage of damage on there. Why are the headlights on this track so dog shit? It's like, it's barely on. Yeah, it's, I mean, it, the headlights in this game are just generally not great for night racing. But it's more intensive on the other tracks. In this one it's like, really, really dim. Just adds to the difficult factor, because don't forget we got rain soon. Yeah, that's definitely helped me. Thanks for bringing that up. Oh. It caught me out in Le Mans as well. So you just you end up losing so much time. It's just worth pitting, and getting it done. I don't think you're catching me up. Well, you said you lumped your engine, didn't you? Sorry, say that again? You said you lumped your engine, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, so that's probably why I'm catching a seconds a lap. Uh, 
I'm having to uh, keep lifting off the fucking track limits though. Yeah, I'm at s now. Engine damage six point three percent. Oof. To Stay punchy for another six laps. Just make this track about another two feet wide that I would be most appreciative. <laughs> Especially on corner exit. Just need the corner exit to be like a couple of inches wider and I wouldn't be getting off the amount of off track I'm doing. Annoying this, make them all gravel track. Catching me up up ass. Not to self, do not do math when I'm trying to drive on the <laughs> difficult situations. It didn't, it didn't go well last time either, did it? You were in the process of trying to work out your tyre wear and how many laps you had left until you, before you yeah. just went straight along to the fucking tyre barrier. There is one bump I guess, it wouldn't have to be the full 50 lap. <laughs> I mean, you still live for the same amount of time, so... It's not saving you that much. Give it one back, come on, I've got to do a rouge. Yeah, I suppose. Bobby corner. Oh, that was to the pixel. So again, before getting off track, fucking hell. Well, I'm starting to see more and more of your headlights. Yeah. And that's what's worrying me. Thank you. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm still only on minor wear on these tyres. Yeah, I must have been scrubbing these something rotten this time. I mean, I've been off track a fair few times, so... Pretty happy with my fastest lap so far. It's not far off my actual rival's time. That. I can't explain my driving timing. Nice to make my fastest lap finish right. <laughs> oh, I just got the moderate. Five laps, five laps. Oh. Oh, there I get there it is. Oh, I should have hit it just now. That's so unfortunate. I literally oh. just pit last lap. This worked out so well for Minty. Fuck. I was timing it around lap 25. You're in the pits right now? No, you're not. Oh. We just got absolutely... I, I, oh, I miss, I miss, um, pits up by like 10 meters. Yeah, I was... Oh, it is throwing it down. Yeah, we just got absolutely... Whoa. Oh, I'm in a beautiful spot. <laughs> Fuck you, you oh, bastard. That was literally... Just... Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's bad. I... <laughs> it's... Oh, shit. I... Shit. I... Breaks, 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 I breaks, breaks, breaks. Holy cow. Oh, Jim has had a fucking laugh with this one, I swear. <laughs> oh, it's messed up. We have to go around the whole track. Oh, yes. No. I have, oh, I have nothing. Uh, I have nothing. I, I, I just crashed into the space. I literally over. can't turn. Fucking corner on the bridge, straight on the fucking tire barrier. 
Well, I just won the race. Now I've got no acceleration. Is that the opportunity to, f to refill? Oh, come on. Get on the track. Fucking what? Crystal. I... Wow, that came out of nowhere. Yeah, I can't drive either. Oh, you can't repair your engine. It's going to take like five minutes. Can you not back. repair engine? Oh. Five minutes is an exaggeration. I don't know. Let's take a long time. Well, I mean, I just spent 30 seconds playing around the fucking sand because the car would not turn. That's the only one. Wow, that came at like the worst possible time. I, I mean, I literally just pit for softs with five laps worth of fuel, thinking it was going to be yeah, around lap 25. Great. Space Dog and I had just both passed the pit. I'm like, we're both yeah, on the main street, and it just started pouring. Yeah. No, I was trying to get in front of Buster before he got to the pit oh, lane. No. Well, going that extra lap for me is Come on. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, then, mate, because I didn't. <laughs> Fuck. Damn it. I can't believe I just put I'd have been on for a fucking winner otherwise. God damn it. Yep. I'm oh, sorry, I, I cannot try. This is my car's buggered, man. No, it's, it's at top speed Better 30 off the miles. Track than on the track. I top like speed it in a little bit. Got me watching the skies now, you know what I mean? It's, it's one thing I've never seen in this is the lightning. It's gone into full on oh, thunderstorm, aye. isn't it? Aye, you flash there. Right, it's going to be who can hold on and stop the thing from being absolutely busted. Wars, I'm going to stay off the track. Yep. Very fun. Oh, it's going on. Still through there. Lars, you're already this on wet. Insane. Yeah. Fuck yeah, Lars Jesus. The, Lars is right behind the pits, the, the pit lane when it started pouring, so. Well, he's, he's basically about to lap me because I had such a shit in lap. Yeah, he. Oh, I just had a three minute, 30 second lap. Mine wasn't far off that because Softs came in right at the long left hander as I was heading towards Pith Path. I don't know how long these are going to last. A lot of My best is a 234 clean. Drifting around that one. Man, that's so unfortunate. Well, this is pod racing, so... It is pod racing, yeah. Oh. Watch, it'll stop raining right now. Alright, there we go. I'm coming through, uh, Twickle. Is what? But it was so sudden, it was like... It was literally just like a light switch. Yeah, 0 to 100 in one second. That is spa for you. That's only it's just 30 seconds. Causes a uh, take on wet weather. <laughs> I think it's just a light switch. Like, all of the water is now all over the track. To be fair, spa does that, doesn't it, anyway? Yeah. They must have, got, they, they must have had like, a learning curve off Man United. Come on. Oh, Man, I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, like how flooded Old Trafford always gets. Yeah. Oh, Lars, you're going to have to. I mean, you think with the money that the, the owners have got, they would do something about that, you know what I mean? It's, 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 yeah, it's tradition now. They just want to pocket the money, they don't want to spend it. Well, it's, yeah, it's the thing, you know what I mean? It's, it's any other club in, it's, uh, in the world of football, you know what I mean? It's in, instantly, any stadium damage. The, the chairman will put his one in his pocket. You know what I mean? It's, it's to, get, to get the stadium fixed. But with Man United, they've had that uh, flooding issue, you know what I mean? Where the rain's been pouring off the fucking the roof of the sands you know, for fucking ages now. Yeah, but also as well, that the, uh, the toilets back up. And half the time on match day, half the toilets out, you can't use them. Yep. That ri rivers of shit going down the bloody corridors. I see the problem, the fact that you're going to have that much rain once every five or six years, that those drains have got to deal with it, is the same reason that a lot of us don't have AC for the three weeks of the year that it's too hot.
Oh my god, I just, they've never fixed it because they've got a. I've managed you know, to make it back to the pits. I am struggling right now. Dispel a certain amount of water in a certain amount of time, and it only it's freak, freak time when it actually does more than that or downpours more than that. Yeah, I mean, the toilet issue sounds more like a regular occurrence. That one probably doesn't need to be fixed. Yeah. Fuck me. See, like, when I first heard that the, the, the water was coming out of the roof like a river, you know what I mean? I was like, that's bad, man. It was a fair game if someone in charge so said that would never have happened. This is going to be a long 25, 27 laps. Is it going to be this for the rest of the race? Or Probably. is the weather not going to I don't know. That's the same. To admit, you know what I mean, is that uh, Fergie made sure that Man United were always running smooth. <coughs> oh, yeah. Nearly <laughs> bend it again. Uh, Can't keep up with Buster. You've got um, TC running. I just had a big boo boo. Oh, oh mate, yes. Oh, Ability okay. control I've got off, the traction control I have off to have on on GT cars anyway. Right, fair enough. Actually uh, fall off the track all the time <laughs> if I don't. I, no, I just wondered because I, I drove it off and it's fine up until the point where the uh, the rain comes and then it gets yeah. a bit twitchy bum time every time you need to get out of like you know a corner. To be fair, I, I, I've not seen it light up because I've been so gentle with my throttle. Because uh, of yeah. this rain. I don't uh, I don't have a particularly finessed right foot. My, my right foot's generally pretty binary. He'd melt on quicker than that, come on. I hate driving in the rain in this game, man. The car's so sluggish. Yeah, it's like most games, the driving in the rain is just, oh, we're just going to turn your grip down. So it's not quite how driving in the rain works, but okay. Where am I going? To be fair, I just don't mind the driving in the rain when it's on like the open MP lobby. It changes it up a little bit. You see, yeah, it's, it's, if it's an open lobby like that, you know what I mean, like, they're, like the touring car lobbies and that, you know what I mean, like, then it's not too bad. You know what I mean? But for some obscure reason, it's. it's, it's they have different effects and different modes. Well, they put it in one of the like the career mode endurance races, and it's just like in the rear end. I think I'm just trying to carry too much speed into these columns is a problem. <laughs> By the way, the bangers, I money shifted after we changed to wets and I had to take another pit. This is gone <laughs> so, sideways, but GG. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm gonna catch as the rain change that's the weather changes. Opportunity time for me. I'm still in pit. Because yeah, I had to pit one extra time than you. I made a big fuck up. Yeah, I'm going really fucking slowly. Alright. <laughs> I mean, you were like 40 seconds ahead of me. So, unless it was like an almighty fuck up. Oh, 
I ended up having such a massive fuck up on pit inlap. I just couldn't get out of the fucking gravel. Oh, uh, the. I just say hello to the barrier of Rouge at 250 kilometers an hour. Oh my god, why did that break so fucking early? A lot of times I've taken that wee high you you know what I mean, like in the touring cars, I'm, I'm actually starting to quite like it. Most people complain to just the sound of it. Yeah. I like it. You know what I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot better than I anticipated it was going to be, you know what I mean? I, uh, I need to do something other than the Subaru, I've uh, done nothing but that for a while. It's the other day at Hakone with that car from third. Uh, tried bullying me off the track because I was faster than them, led them round for the first five laps. The last lap they were trying to barge me off the line and shit. Well, you in the I had Subaru, a couple eh? of people do that. It's in that noisy fucking. Oh, the Hyundai, the tin can. Hyundai, uh. So I was actually doing the touring car the other day, and I qualified, must have been about 8th out of the 24. After two laps, I was battling for first place, and the people who, the two people behind me, because I was, like, I'd overtained them cleanly, rammed us after the track and purposely pushed me right half into a barrier. Yeah. Taking themselves out, you know what I mean, like today, it was like, why? Because winning a absolutely pointless multiplayer race is very important. That's why I never qualify. Just start from the back and overtake everyone. My ah, name, for some reason, they keep putting me like eighth or ninth or something. I end up like at the start of everyone that hasn't qualified. I'm always at the very back, like every race. If I don't qualify, I'm literally dead last, but I don't know why. It's over that, or I will qualify, but I will make sure my back is like the slowest of everyone, just so I'm basically last, or I'm qualified. That seems to work quite well. A few times where I just have the bothered qualifying and start with the, the very back, you know what I mean? It's like, nah, I'll just let everybody take themselves out this corner, you know what I mean? Let's slip round. Yeah, I mean, most of the time I do it, I'm making a video and it's kind of boring if I qualify fifth and then finish fifth. It's generally why I don't bother qualifying because, you know, content. I mean, don't get me wrong, I did give somebody a scare the other day, you know what I mean? Was, was, they purposely tamed me out and was, I was like, you didn't realise I'm streaming? Ah, those people don't care. Uh, you know what I mean? Was, uh, oh no, after the, after the race I got a, a message going, oh sorry, I lost control, you know what I mean? I'm like, ah, well, was, uh, everybody's just going to be able to see just how bad a driver you actually are now because of this getting streamed. I've always said I don't, I don't mind losing a race as long as it's a nice race. Come on, turn. I'd rather finish 15th and it was a really good fight for 15th than like win in no man's land. Oh my god, just go in a straight fucking line for once. Jesus fucking Christ. Do you have traction control off? Yeah, I never had traction on. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of people are switching their, their stability control and traction control and all that on now. I can't even drive with it switched on. No, I, can't I think it. for Ryan it's a must have, but I don't know. I don't know what it is, I mean, I just find that you get 
mere control over the car where everything switched off. The Bengus was her like plan a... on what? Hmm? My plan on what? Your lap on what? Uh, I'll tell you after this lap. So uh, mine is 238, which is probably way too slow. Want a slow lap this lap? But uh, I will also tell you. Not sure. I'm just coming out of Pulan right now. I mean, I'm doing 2.42 that lap, that I fucked up a few bits on that. So I'm probably the 2.40s on the clean lap. Alright. 3.38. 3.38? That's a very slow lap. Oh, 2.38. 2.38. Not 3.38. In the, in the rain, fucking hell. Yeah, but my my spin on and rouge and um, um engine damage from an extra pit, but um, I'm yeah. not gonna be catching up. I just did a sick drift up Radion. There was a points for that. Dude, I'm happy. Yeah, you know, it could dry up and like throw the strategy into the, you know. I don't know if it again. does dry up again. When we did it at its uh, launch life, it was just wet to dry. Variable probably isn't the word they should use then. No. Changes, they should just say changes once. The binary, probably. <laughs> yeah. Not binary, binary, yeah. yeah. It might come in the next but They're not anything for that. I'm actually hanging up on not got to use traction control. I'm just about holding on with the, uh, without traction control. So keep going, sliding wide, like on deceleration. Been, I've got everything switched off. Quality traction, ABS. I've, I've just got ABS on. Uh, fuck it, come on. Yeah, 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 didn't you know you were going to go on the right hand side of me? If I, I, I couldn't, I wouldn't have been able to turn and make it on the left, and turn in and make it on the left side. Um, it is possible, but actually, get off the circuit. <laughs> One uh, team accelerate car to make, and that's the black and red one. Got the yellow Merc behind. Ah, uh, that's me. Dive, no, spam. I'll let you pass that roof. Uh, I won't be catching up that soon. Um, I think I got away without any damage. No. It's okay, just just keep driving now. I'll, I'll let you know when I'm ready to pass. Thank you. It's a very, very yellow car. Yeah.
It's actually a live livery from last season of GG World Challenge. Oh, my livery's not great, but it's just that it's got racing stripes with some stickers on it. Mm. There we go. Not that it's a bright pink map. Bright pink map is not pink. Uh, bright pink is um. Oh, and dimes normally. Uh, no, but for AMG is the team uh, BWT. Oh yeah. yeah. And um, I actually have diecast model of that car of that AMG in BWT colors. Yeah, on dimes are in the Lambo. Right? Yeah, yeah, Lambo last season it was Porsche. Yeah. That's right. Don't follow GT racing, just British to find cars and do CF1 whenever the results of something just happen to have not won. I don't follow GT all that much, I just keep a, like an eye out on it. Mostly because I get more to work quite often. I watch it religiously. I prefer touring cars for sure to like 20 minute races. But they're always back to me, more interesting for me. I mean, most of the uh, GT World Challenge ones, they're not the super endurance ones. Like the longest one they did at Brands, I think it's an hour, maybe. Yeah, I've watched an hour long race. For, for GT World Challenge, the. No, oh, there's some long ra longer races. Like yeah, Spa was. Uh, yeah, but they're not, they're not all super long races, so they're big down. No, 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 because you have split between endurance and sprints. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sprints are usually one to two hours. A uh, brand hatch is normally a sprint. Mm. Yes, exactly. So I don't understand Forza's obsession with putting night races at brands because it is not a 24 hour circuit. No. It was uh, a uh, ever. Uh, I thought that as well, you know what I mean? Like, it's where I first uh, done the online multiplayer bit. It, it was a nighttime race. I'm like, why is it nighttime? Like, so, you know, yeah. This is a daytime circuit. Yes, yeah, so, as someone who has been at Brands Hatch very often, I can tell you there is fuck all lighting at, at Brands Hatch. I mean, as a. The best series to watch is just the uh, WEC, right? That's like Grail. The trail's the exact same, though, it's got zero fucking lighting. Isn't there an ordinance at Brands Hatch where they can't do night racing either? Yeah, there's people like um, right off the back of Hawthorns at the back, so they get real pissy on race day. Uh, I think they are curfewed to 8 pm. I mean, the um, Nordschleife is not lit up during night as much as it is in this game, so... The, um, mo the most thing with Brands is it's just, it's in the southeast of England, which means it's full of yeah. ri rich old people who complain a lot. Um, <laughs> so people have moved next to Brands Hatch and then complain that it's loud. Oh, it's the same with almost every crack. Yeah, See, that always crack. That's always cracked me up. That, oh, no. I mean, you get people who move next to a racetrack and then complain about the noise. Yeah, yeah. And it's people well, who move next. It. It's like moving next, to, next. Aye, I was going to say it's like moving next door to the fucking airport. You know what I mean? Then complaining yeah. because the planes are taking off. Oh, what the fuck do you think was going to happen? Oh no, the planes are going to fly over my house. Um, <laughs> the planes yeah. already fly over your house. Yeah, but that means it's going to be more planes. So I the difference. I live. At the end of the runway, at, at the beginning of the runway at Gatwick, um, for six months, it's literally it was like the first row of houses outside of the airfield. Um, plane was taking half a land in your hushuk. I completely lost the ability to wake up to my phone alarm because <laughs> you once you get so used yeah. to yeah the airplanes flying like five meters over your head um yeah n nothing will wake you up playing with train tracks i remember i used to my, my bedroom used to place like five gardens back there was an embankment to a train track 
for the trains were all up above the by the chimney breast or the roofs of the houses. Yeah. yeah. And you just I've, drown it out. You just get used to it. See, it's funny that you mentioned that because like when me and the kids' mother split up and I was living in the uh, temporary accommodation, the very first hostel that they put me in, right outside the back, like the back window, like, like where I was put. Fucking how the East Coast rail line. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. The one, the one that runs to Scotland or the way down to England. Yeah, East Coast Main Line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 that, that was right outside my bedroom window. Every morning, guaranteed. You know what I mean? Like, you'd get woke up with a fucking train flying by. Yeah. But I think rail is much worse because the trains are running 24 hours and Gatwick is closed um, for a few hours of mine. Funnily enough, the um, East Coast. The East Coast line's only a 12 wheel track. Uh, trains are normally, they stop at like 2 a.m. and then they start at like 4. Planes have a curfew from like midnight to 6 a.m. But yeah. they can still land in that time because obviously they can't close an airport for emergency. Yes, yes, exactly. So this country's got this wonderful thing where you can fly on a plane but you can't take off to 6 a.m. You can only take off at like 6 to midnight. 6 a.m. to midnight. But your airline can just schedule you to land at 3am and there's nothing the government can do about it and it's just hilarious. Yeah, that's why coming back from holidays always yeah, like pretty fucking horrible water off. So they, 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 yeah, they've like deliberately banned planes from taking off in the middle of the night but they can't actually ban them from landing. There was talk of finding them, I think, or like having a surcharge if you wanted to land after a certain amount of time. Uh, they is that, just killed is so fog starting to creep in, or am I just like starting to lose it? I think it's getting brighter because the I think the sun's coming up. Well, I just see patches of like fog or mist or something on the track in front of me that weren't there earlier. And I think my life yeah. Yeah. main so, beam just come up. Yeah, yeah. It's light and rain. God, I, whatever just happened, can it not? Can it undo it? Because I can see even less than I could yeah, before. I, I just saw that. It, that just happened. That's great. The way the the lights hitting it, it looks like spray. I yeah. think it's I think it's fog. Yeah, it's, it's fog. foggy. And and everyone knows that you do not put your fucking main beam on on the fog. No. It just with fucking flex. No, you stick it out of the window. It's what that driving lights are for underneath the bumpers. And you, wait, well, no, you just uh, you drive at twenty mile an hour and stick your head out the window. It's the best way to do it. Bang? Yeah. Why were you hit the tires? Oh, there's a. Oh. Enough for us to play for now. Boss, did you have a moment? You were, like, bearing down on me a minute ago. Sorry? Did you have a moment? Because you were, like, five seconds away from lapping me, and now you're, like, 15 seconds bit further back than where you were. Oh, no, I need a new time. Uh. I'm back hunting you again. And that it really pays us to help pay attention to when your tires are worn. Are the wet flaps in around nine laps? I haven't pit. I've, since it's been wet, I'm still on the same tires. Since I went in and got my weights, I've not been back in since. It's, I've just ticked a minor on my front, my rear right. Major word to me. But I'm probably burning my rights up, my my rears up more because I don't have traction on. Is the rain easing, or is it still for the years? I think the rain's still heavy, it's just fog now as well. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's not going to clear, but it, like, it's going to be like that to the end of the race. And then you have to be in a new vehicle, 
Bring the sunshine. I just want the fog to the fog to fuck off. Can't see anything on the fucking track. We've got the glare from the the light coming in the rain and the fog. I can see fuck all when it comes to like my markers. Mine is not that bad. To be honest, this game looks the best in the in those conditions. What's great is only part of the tracks that, that got fucked as well. Oh yeah, they do it because um, it is it is like um, what's it called? Localized. Uh, yes, exactly. Because yeah. if you do Nurburgring GP in fog, the like lower parts of the track will have fog, but top, start yeah. finish line um, not gonna have fog. Which is nice touch to be honest, but for some reason the. Breaking in the fog is much more effective than usually, for some reason. That's a bit weird. Yeah, it is. Uh, you can test it for yourself on the... Um, um, especially the the place I'm thinking of on the Nürburgring GP is the, um, on the hairpin. Hmm. Just try it with fog and without the fog and you'll see it's it's like half of um car length difference. Weird. It is weird. I will give it a again. When the graphics actually be playable, they are really good. Oh, come on. It's a shame you need to get the rest of the racing game up to scrap. Hello. Oh, we've been saying that. I didn't um, get the career event done. I don't bother. I've done four races in the career mode and then just didn't bother doing anything else. I've done the first tour, that's it. And I mean for the, you know, the oh, new car. Oh, come on, get the stand track. I've done all six of them so far. That was the, uh, I don't is it still the Porsche or is it? I think so. I only bother if the car's worthwhile to the last two, like the B, A, F tools or whatever. I have not done the car can be just not I know the, the Porsche and the GT lobby is broken. Yeah. Like that Renault Jeep uh, Formula One car, that thing is mad. Yeah. Oh, the uh, T85 where it was. Yeah. I haven't even driven it. I unlocked no. it. I just haven't driven it. Fuck's sake. Come on, get in the fucking pit, you moron. Has there been an MP log lobby for it yet? Uh, not for the F1 stuff, no. The only one I've really wanted out of the um, those cars was a. Uh, uh, Rain, come on, that one. There we go. Uh, the only one I've really wanted out there was the, the Porsche Cayman GT4. I just let me get some I should put more fuel in for these tyres. I'll fuel to the end. Ah, yeah. oh, I forgot to fuel. <laughs> I didn't fuel to the end. Oh, I'm so stupid. Well, in 10 laps time, I'm going to need to pit again for dry tyres. Yeah, because you're off schedule, aren't you, sir? Apparently I lost 20 seconds to over a few laps, Jesus Christ. I was four seconds away from you at the beginning of the stint. I wonder if they're gonna at some point turn on the um, global, illumi global illumination ray tracing for this game. Because if you look at the all the promotional material they have on like Twitter and other social media, it's clearly there, and it was there on the. Um, it's hard uh, to see who's talking. What Predators. a dick! Mm -hmm. huh? I don't Christ. know what that was. Ah, shit! 
Someone's in the wall. Have to move out of last door anyway. I don't get there. They missed it. Oh, did you say you looked up to see you were talking and you binned it? Is that what you're saying? Thank you. I didn't recognise the voice. I looked up to see what the oh. overlays, the voice <laughs> of the overlay says, and just went yeah. straight onto the grass. No control. I didn't wonder why I'm now eight seconds behind you. Yeah. Uh, come on. Come on. There we go. It's fine, you'll be able to build the gap again. I'm driving much shit in the way. Yeah, I'm not even here. My son coming in. It's not raining in eight laps, mate, or you get a freebie anyway. Well, I mean, I've just picked for a new set of wets, so oh. I kind of wanted to finish. That man who got blood from on wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It would make variable better if they set it to like, let's just say like randomly between like 0 and 20 minutes it would change and then it would change like every between, randomly between 0 and 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean just make it variable, that'd be a good idea. Well, that'd be closer to variable. Well yeah, because at the moment it's just a change, it just changes. Anywhere from about 40 to. Oh, I think it's like 40 to 60%. Yeah. Someone brought it up that I think in Project Cars you were able to set it up. You would have like the slots for the weather. Yeah. And you would set it up. I would first dry, then rain, then dry, then maybe rain again or something like that. It's a shame EA basically killed Project Cast. Yeah, Project Cast 2 was good. I don't even know if you can buy it anymore. You I can't, have it uh, the room. licenses have run out for them, so you can't pick it up. And you can pick up a, a like a key gen one from a like a box breaker website, but they're like 40 quid for the game. Yeah, I put it on like Xbox 360 and like. I think I've got it on X1. Yeah, I think I've got it on X1 somewhere. But if Assetto Corsa Evo is going to have good controller support, they're going to win over a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, AC Evo when it comes out. I will get it if it actually allows controllers. If not, I'm not going to bother. I also have steering wheel, but it's... The, I don't the game I'm looking forward to is the uh, new test drive. Oh, Crown. Yeah. yeah. But, um, the, the new, that new test drive will be really good. You think so? I've uh, seen the I've driving had, model. Was a bit off. Yeah. I that's think it what I thought. To be honest, if it's got the same setup as it sort of did on the PlayStation 2 days, then I would um, quite like enjoy it. If not, then it might be a very good thing. Yeah, if the if all the features that they're gonna have in that game, like the the sort of clan wars and stuff like that, if it's gonna be good, then the game's gonna be just fine. Um, I just want to update your test drive too. Be honest, that was just different from everything else. Yeah. I'm just not one for open world races, to be honest. If Test Drive 2 just becomes like everything else, like some of the Need for Speed ones and stuff, and it just loses its specialty and it's just another game like that. Need for Speed might get Most Wanted Remake pretty soon, if not this year. Yeah, it's still, they'll, stay for it. they'll still find a way for it to suck, mm -hmm. though. Unbound was... I liked Unbound a lot. Um, I agree. I like them though. That was the best one since. Well, since the reboot time. of the series, yeah. No, I always like I, I like had the shift series, but other than that, I'm more a circuit racer than I am anything else to be honest. Shift's different. It's called Masters. Same, but like Unbound is just fun to play. It's just it's just fun game. It's very arcadey, but it's it's fun. So I think that's all that matters. Yeah, I mean, it's I'm sure to figure out their maps, though. 
liked our map, the map of that game, and Heat too, but I'm about better than Heat in that, but I think the world is just so boring. You know, I really like driving. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's not that special. Although the the city they have in the Unbound is the biggest city they had in the city, in, like any other Need for Speed, so I like that a lot. The, just I think the ri shit, Rivals. The size of it. Rivals it wasn't a great game, but I thought the map was very cool. Just all the different like zones and everything. I, I think Hot, Purs Hot Pursuit 2012 was it? Um, that, yeah, yeah, that's great. Really good map as well. I'd say map wise, the crew too was a good one. I never. I got the crew as a gift, but. I had my old PC and I had my new PC, and on both PCs I couldn't launch the game, it was always crashing. I never played this game because on two different machines I couldn't launch it. The beginning they fixed a couple of bugs and then it all worked, but I, I played a couple of like missions on it and I was just like, this is so me. I bought it on 360 and then realized that actually to play free you basically have to have a run on that, I just give up now. Actually, I, I got it for the Xbox One. So the newest track. crew is Hawaii only, and I just see that as utterly pointless. The newest crew is also 60 FPS logged, even outside of, I mean, in the single player. Because it was on free trial, and I launched it, and I'm like, how do I, how do I change the frame rate? I'm and frame rate I found yeah. out, yes, yeah, 60 FPS logged, and I'm like, nope. It's just a really lazy way to have an engine to work out stuff, it's just frame locking it. But I mean, look, look, look at Forza, this is the best solution they have at the moment. The multiplayer is locked yeah. because of the not to screw up the timings, but single player is unlocked and free play, so you can have it like both ways. It would mean more if the single player was actually like fun. But all this game really has is multiplayer, I think. It's because like, I think what's worth playing, unfortunately. It depends what the car in the championship is. So this Porsche one, I think, this isn't, I didn't work while I'm locking, but the retro car on the, um, mod on the class one, I just can't be asked. Yeah, but other than that, every career series is, is exactly the same, like, format. It's like. No difference, just race, 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 upgrade your car a little bit. It doesn't even matter if you upgrade your car, because the the opponents will just upgrade to match yours, so... I mean... But, but I'm the current career is the best one so far. Yeah, I'm I, I mean, it's, it's not much different to what we had as career mode in Forza Motorsport Sport 4. We just didn't need to do it. It was just... Here's a race weekend, go do the race no. weekend. If a 4 had all these different events, it had like an actual, like linear like you start with the slow cars and you graduate to r racing cars and there are two different like types of career modes there's like the world championship or whatever and like the free one the free play one or whatever it's called where you just got to choose uh, i think this is the worst campaign by far of this series uh literally the easiest way to can complete the campaign is set the ai to level one and then just go cut half the freaking track and as long as you win by more than your penalties you save yourself like four minutes of driving. Literally every time it just gets you star, I just like cut through all the corners that you can. The problem with That's the AI in those multi class races is that AI doesn't know how to overtake. And yeah. once they catch up with the slower class, they just they just lose like, I don't know, two hundred seconds because they're gonna just drive and not overtake. They were a lot better on the live, on the Road America one, because obviously it had huge straights, but the Kailami yeah. one is yeah. just utterly used to that. Yeah. I would actually, I, I think the, the, the coolest addition would be if they added to the regular lobbies, um, just WEG style uh, multi-class. I think the lobbies, awesome. lobbies need to be bigger for all the cars, I think. Right. All the 24 cars. Random people to be able to handle being like... Black, 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 black
Well, I mean, it's bad enough on iRacing with people who are meant to be, like, trying hard. Um, they cleave enough, like, the LMP3s kill enough for the GT4s. They need more players, because they could solve that with, like, a range mode, but there's not enough players to justify it. Like, you, you can't, they can't split the player base like that. So, it's, like, ranked and unranked. Yeah, but if you... If you do this, like, milk toast multiplayer... It's like, it's, you're trying to include everyone, and at the end of the day, Every, yeah, you, you include no one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, I don't even know why they try to do that, though, because they have Horizon to include everyone, to be like the Game Pass, like, yeah, that, this is yeah. open all gamers game. This is supposed to be Waterstone. competitive version of the Forza games, right? Yep. Yeah, they, well, they said they wanted to make it like an eSport, so... Ha! That's funny. Um, yeah, that's well, I funny. mean, I found out there's an eSport for Clash of Clans earlier this week, so I wouldn't laugh at it that. It is. But, I mean... The, they don't have proper... Like, the timed race ends on the timer instead of letting you do one more lap to yeah. for the leader to finish the lap. So. It's not time plus lap or uh, yeah. like timed around the last complete lap. First so lap after timer. Don't... There is so much stuff missing that doing this, even as a competitive and investing in that, would be just stupid. Because they have so much more to do to to bring it to the proper esports level. The only good thing is that if you make a number of changes per month, but they're not fast enough with them. They haven't even got their freaking updates down for four weeks yet. Yeah, uh, all the freaking events like Horizon does. Yeah, I still don't understand why Horizon is getting so much attention. Why won't you just shift uh, your workforce for uh, I don't know six months or less to to fix up this game? Uh, and then playground games, yes, playground games, yeah. I was going to say, don't you, the developers, you know, different developers for Horizon that, for, than what it is for this? Yeah, or same engine, different teams. Yeah. Yeah. They, they could have signed Playground devs to work on Motorsport until they announced Horizon 6, though. Well, I mean, they, 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 for all we know, they're working on Horizon 6. Yeah, you're probably right. But there is no overseeing, like, developer studio? Uh, it's Microsoft's uh, or publisher, so Microsoft's just publisher. Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft Games is the publisher. Oh. Uh, do they somehow just seem to play Playground Games on the I guess that I heard of before the name. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Horizon 6 is set in China. Japan. <laughs> oh, it's, that, that it's whole, already. It, no, so it's, it's, whole, it's been con it has been confirmed it's Japan. Japan, is it? Yeah, yeah that's a good setting. Yeah, Japan would be. Well, five was supposed to be either Mexico or Japan, so they assumed the six. I guess six would just be the one that it wasn't. So, I was Japan. Was wanting uh, Horizon Five to be Japan, so they were. The, the, the amount of people that I spoke to that played that, they were, they were like, "Oh, I hope it's Japan," and I'm like, "Nah, it won't be Japan this time, run." Maybe for, for six, but definitely no for five. My problem is if it's in Japan, is everyone's just going to be underwhelmed with what comes out, so they're just wasting their time actually making Japan. A lot of people were waiting for Japanese Assassin's Creed, and then look what you got. Probably a disappointment. Yeah, another Ubisoft blob. Just play Ghost of Tsushima if you want Japanese Assassin's Creed. Yeah. I don't like them doing. Do you ten? Do you ten ten make any other games or is it just? No, nah, it's just Forza Motorsport. No. Oh, Playground games have a different dev team. They can make two they games. They made Fable. Well. Yeah, they're making Fable right now. As well. Come on, get fucking! I've got no front and fucking grip on this thing. No idea what Fable even is. I think it's a it's a fantasy game. I don't know what kind of fantasy game, but Fable is like a um, tongue-in-cheek British style RPG. It's like an RPG made with British satire. Yeah, 
just take the four in this book. No, Horizon. Well, they can help with my pistol if you make it back again. Although, to be fair, it actually feels like Horizon just in this point now, we're actually testing everything for Horizon 6, if it is coming eventually. Yeah, so it wouldn't surprise me if they're in the active zone on there right now. Because right. they do in Horizon, if they actually test everything in the version prior. In most of what I don't think they have, they're actually testing everything in the version yeah. prior for the next game. Horizon 6 is going to be Eastern Poland. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. I think yeah, okay. it's going to be kind of a bleak, a bleak, a bit of a bleak setting, I think, for uh... <laughs> Thank you. I wouldn't mind a section of, like, um... Eastern US. I think they should do the US again. U.S. multi-state where you have like different biomes. <laughs> the crew already did fun. that though, so I feel like they'd just get in trouble if they did a uh, like a lot of the U.S. again. I don't think it's got such a big following in the U.S. I don't think anyone would care. Yeah, I don't think you can sort of just claim a country though for your game. So you can sort of anyone can different game anyway. I mean, yeah, but I mean, the idea of like, if they did like a, it's like the whole United States and you go all over the place and they have all the monuments and like all this stuff like the crew did, which that's what I'd want to see. If they just did like they did like Horizon 2, where it's like, what was that? That was like Italy and France. You could just do yeah, that. South, yeah, it's South Coast Mediterranean. Yeah. Well, like, I, to just, something. Like I quite enjoyed um, Horizon 3, you know, the rainforest was a lot of fun. Mind they could, they, they also could like do Nordic countries and have half of the map um, no. covered in snow. Yeah. yeah, that'd be awesome. They need to bring snow back. But at the moment, it's only in the mountains and then on the top of the PLC. I don't think, well, it would make sense if it was set in, a, you know, Finland or Germany, you know, for the next Force of Horizon, but with the things that Bowser's has been pushing, whether, especially on the horizon side, I would, be, I would probably set a point towards more South Africa. You know, South Do they have roads in South Africa? Sorry? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, no, I, if they did, like, I would actually love to see Africa, like in Africa again. Race again. Probably more again. That would be awesome. Something. If they add an April Cadet, so we can just be free top gear and Horizon that yeah. is pretty cool. Because it's got jungle, it's got desert, it's got plains and Sahara and stuff actually and dunes. It's yeah. got everything. I just thought like, we don't um, get bloody like Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah, Not just like boring. a flat, just the whole area is just a desert with like yeah, that'd be a super fun. I know it's got a rich car culture there, but it's more well, no, bling car, than... It's not, I wouldn't say it's a rich, rich car culture, it just has car culture of rich people. Well, when I say rich, much money. Yeah, the, yeah. Car, the car culture, it's not rich car culture, it's, in, it's like uh, diverse and uh, historical, it's just rich by way of price tag. Oh my god, that puts the that. in the it's, wall. You can state the same about Mexico, it's not exactly a... I wonder. Yeah, I was surprised that they chose Mexico. Not really a ton of, I mean, there is car culture there, but not the same as like somewhere no. like, like Japan or any of the other places that the previous games. The only reason why they're selecting Japan for the new one is because of the JDM culture. Well, yeah, and, and Japan drift. has a huge car culture. Yeah, it needs to have, if you're doing Japan, they have to have like mandatory drift and stuff in it because, yeah. They could do a snow area with Japan too, do like Hokkaido and then you come down and you have like... Do you know what they could you know, do? If they're, like bringing out, city. if they're bringing out Japan for Forza Horizon, they should kick the map the map over to turn 10 and put fucking Fujimi Kaido back in this bloody game. The one fucking track I've wanted for two decades. 
Which we kind of will never. They have to build that all again. They have to literally build That's it from the I mean. ground up, which if, they can't do. If Playground Games are making Japan, just send them a bit of it and then make it for Jimmy Kaido in there. They should make Japan in the scale. Yeah, one I one. think that's. I think Japan is going to be number seven, not. Yeah. You know, not number mm -hmm. six. Yeah, number six is. will be the development of a new engine, whatever engine it is. With the uh, same it, it wouldn't surprise one. me if they knock it on the head. Uh, and it's, it's going to use the, the this engine that they're using now for uh, yeah. motorsport because Horizon mm -hmm. uh, Five still uses the old engine. I mean, it's it, it's not. Well, it's supposed to be on a new engine, it's just got a new suspension model in the engine. It's still the same engine. It's just got a new suspension what model. What do you think they call the next Motorsport? Motorsport 2? Like, what, what's, what's the next, if there no, is they, another one? What do they call they it? Won't. Uh, <laughs> they won't make a new my, one. It's going to be a live service yes. game. Yeah. Uh, my everybody, every, down. everybody knows that this is basically Falls of 8. Everybody knows that. Yeah, but they're just just—they're not going to make Falls of Motorsport 2. They're just going to keep adding to yeah. Forza Motorsport. Because at the end of the day, a, a sequel is a requirement when you release uh, physical content on discs. Yeah, they don't. But now it's all digital and well, it's permanently well, updated and always online, so you just keep updating the title in perpetuity. It would be that, or until licenses run out from certain cards and stuff. Well, they'll just patch it out of the game. If the license runs out, you just patch it out. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. That's great. EA done that for, uh, for their uh, football game. Well, that's why you can't buy Need for Speed Shift 2 anymore, because all the um, licenses are on it, and same with uh, Project Cars 2. Same line. It's, uh, Rise of War goes off that early in December. Oh, Project Cars 2 grass. Yeah, I've got all the Horizons on disc. I've yeah. got every Forza on disc, apart from this one. Every Forza Motorsport. I only have two and four on this. Uh, and yeah, five and six and seven. I have one and two in standard edition, and then three through seven in special collector's edition. I but really ought to try and find one and three. Can you install yeah, it without updates? Uh, if you have a 360, yeah, you should be able to. I've got Horizons 4, 3 and 2 on this. Yeah, they have today's. Don't need to load up my, uh, set up my 360 and stick on the Horizon uh, Motorsport 4. I, d I don't want to go back to it. I'd rather keep it in my memory. I think if I go back to it, I'm only going to be disappointed. I went back to it. The only disappointing thing for me was that there's no night and there's no rain, which is kind of crazy. Like, I, I forgot to, kind of that it's not in there. That's why I forgot about that. Yeah, I mean, Motorsport was what? Motorsport 4 was 15 years ago? Yeah, 2011. Back when they actually were the mm -hmm. games that stopped them actual rating games. Well, well, it's just when they were, they were uh, designed by Dan Greedwald. Where's he now? Uh, he's head of development so, at Turn 10. He's not, he's not game designer, oh. he's head of development. Mm. You need to a lot of people left uh, Turn 10 to start their own company. Yeah. That was when uh, Horizon Icebox was the first came out. Then they went to slightly mad when they started doing Project Cast in there, a lot of them. Well, the reason that they left was because they were, they were, come, uh, they were getting paid to come up with ideas for Horizon 5 to make it better. And every time they came up with an idea to, to the developers you know, to, to, to get it put in the game, they were like, oh no, I can't do that. So, all the people were like, ah, well, you know what, what's the point in fucking working for this mob? They're not even fucking taking their ideas seriously, so. Hilarity, but, actually, Horizon 5 has been better since all of its top people left and were replaced. Microsoft keeps doing this. I mean, they did it with Bungie and Halo. They like don't care about the developers at all, and then they, the developers get pissy, leave, start, start other studios as they should, make an actual maybe good game when they leave, and then they're just left well, trying to like hire hire contract workers for eight months like they are now at a time because they don't want to give them health well, insurance. 
Nice. Well, I was going to say, you know, I mean, it's, 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 that's the thing. The developers for the game, uh, for the Forza games, they're only given a six-month rolling contract. Yeah, that's pretty, that's absurd. Yeah, and then they have, then they wonder if one year will be non-compete. I thought, I thought it was a, it was a two-year contract, eighteen months on, six months off. So it's a six-month rolling contract. Is it? So and then there's forced gardening leave. Because uh, there was a, a, a developer for this, he had done a video on YouTube and he was going on about how loose is at certain circuits. There were things that they'd done that they had to add, still add to the circuits and they were all basically given the can before yeah, they could even get video. them out. So they were all given the can before they could fucking do it. Yeah, I remember watching that one. You think? That, was a, uh, that video was a real while eye opener sort of as you know what I mean? Because it, it made you think, wow, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and then they wonder why half at games are turning out crap these days. It's a mix. The game standard has fun now. If the companies want to take better care of their developers, you know, they'd end up getting better games. All the best games are now developed by little indie teams. Yes, yeah, because they care about the products more than the package and the profits. And importantly, they actually and they play the games. Well, that's why everything. That's why uh, everything's getting made play, uh, pay to play now. You know what I mean? At one point, you could uh, you heard those DLCs come out. You were like, "Oh, great, new cars." Now you hear those DLCs are coming out and you're like, oh, how much is that going to cost? Yeah, for, and it generally contains fuck all. Most of the stuff uh, it's got is a, is a reskin of stuff that's already in the game. It's just a colour or looks slightly uh, different. Frank's in world of famous for that. How many times can you release the same class 47? Well, it depends on how many times you update the game, doesn't it? That's brilliant, right? The UK has a train called the Class 66, and it's basically in every single train sim, UK train sim DLC, because they can't be asked to make another class like it. But it doesn't keep the same one. I do enjoy a good train sim every now and again. Dovetail games aren't, aren't actually too far away from me, they're in Sittingbourne. I like it, it's just I can only be asked to buy all the DLC. Take. Stay on the fucking track, you moron. I'm 50% there, Ash. Mm -hmm. It's a shame, they, they're just too greedy, that's a lot of modern developers, to be honest. I'm gonna be real yeah. marginal on fucking tyres at the end of this race. Fuel to the end, but I don't think my tyres are going to make it annoyingly. I don't think I need to pit again, but this, if it keeps up like this, no, I've just had just ticked a minor on my rears. Oh, these aren't going to make it five laps, so I've got to pit again. I've been trying to avoid it. Oh, I'm going to have to pit the end of this lap for fuck's sake. I threw the car out to the left when you came out of the pitch like that, man. Oh, that's oh. Nope. I've seen much fuel in thinking that I had like, more laps than I do, I'll keep us from lap down. Yeah. It's my problem. It's like when I last refueled, the 60% underfueled me, 70% overfueled me by quite a bit. Like, yeah, I mean, I massively have fueled up at uh, 17 laps in with 17 laps to go, and I've still got eight laps worth of fuel in my car because I'm under lifting close so much. It's got no fucking front end grip in this car right now. You just dry up. I just want like four laps on a soft tyre and then going to sneak fast as that into the rivals just caught. 
I still want to do that, but I can't be after I've any more laps. Of breaking this track. And this lap is faster than my right leaf one. Still slower than everything else, so. Just got so much fucking understeer in this car. Things horrible in the wet. What track do we reckon you'll be next? Um, uh, Bathurst probably. Are there any big race, big races that are coming up that I'll go on the second track that would like to be the added? That's the the next big one I think is the Bathurst 500. I will miss uh, I will say A1 ring. I, w I want the Red Bull ring, but I think it's gonna be colder. Oh, please don't! Please don't win it into existence. Not that bad of a track. I don't think I've ever raced it in a game. It's I don't a horrible know. track. No, it did. I just hope that the new circuit that they put in here is one that everybody is actually one that they want. Well, I mean, they're going to run through what they've already got, like in the book that they can upscale. So there's going to be the uh, probably what? Bathurst, probably Long Beach. Uh, Did they have Kota in an old one? Could be uh, Fiji. Uh, I think it was in oh, the game. I don't think I don't think it was in six or seven rather. No, Panorama, you like, that would be a good one. I don't remember it in, in, uh, in 7. I would like Sedona. That, they've had that, so I'd imagine that would turn up first. Sedona's quite an interesting track. Is that another American one? Yeah, it's, very, it's quite an interesting one. There's a lot of elevation changes and some very difficult curbing. It's very weird to have to bring over this, but then to go to a different country. No, don't forget, the Americans first with uh, turn 10. I want Donington, this college. Yeah, it's going to be a ways off if they're going to add it. It's never been Donington. in any Forza before. <laughs> they're not going to add that. Isn't oh. it owned by the same company that owns... By Sport Vision, isn't it? I want Portimao. Some of the same That's people who own um, Autumn Park um, brands. Basically every BTCC track. Apart from Mock Hill. Uh, What's the <laughs> other one? Like Snetter... Snetterton. Snetterton will be one I love Snetterton as a track. Snetterton is a bitch of a track. You'd never get a fucking river in that place. It's that... It's super narrow, right? It's very narrow. It looks like a, like a keyhole. It's a brilliant track. It's got no flow whatsoever. No, you never get a fucking rhythm in the place, is the problem. And uh, you drive through a literal um, bomb hole. This part of the track was blown up in the at the war, and they just paved over and go. Yep, that's a feature now. Bloody good feature, yeah. I mean, it's it gets great racing on it. It's great watch. I just I fucking hate driving it. I want Alton Park. Like Alton Park, or least, yeah. Park. I, I prefer Alton Park before Donington, to be honest, because Alton Park there's more going on in the lap. I prefer Donington as a track to drive, but I think Alton Park would be a, is a better circuit. I mean, I want Knock Hill as well, but that's never going to fucking happen. One good penalty in this game at the end of this race. I think I turned them off to be honest. No, they're off. They're off. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be letting off when you go off. Now yeah. you're telling me three laps to the end. I, I should have cut everything I can. Yeah, I, I generally run things on a, on a system of if, if you've got off the track, just let off. And I trust it. I generally trust people in a private race than I do in a lobby race that people are going to take on, this. On this track there is a lot of situations where you would cut just for a split of a second and the game would give you like two seconds yes. penalty. That's why it's... this track is rough.
One track I really hope they add, but I know they won't, will be is Oshersleben. I fucking love that track. Real difficult to pass on, but it's really fun. I mean, there's also Interlagos, there's also Valencia. Um, uh, Hangara Ring is not in the game. Not, not Hangara Ring, I don't know. That's a good circuit. It's, it's fun Things, oh, to drive. It, uh, a plus one spec though, Hangara Ring, or is it plus two still? Oh, well, it's, F it's FYA um, approved for Formula One, so. Because they stopped Formula One on it, haven't they? So, so. No, not the Angara ring, they haven't. Going there every year. But they, they do, don't it's, do it's GT the last World one. Challenge there anymore. No, I mean, it's because it's a shit track to overtake on for GT cars, that's the problem. I mean, it's shit for Formula One. But. It's a good track to drive, but it's a fucking terrible one to race. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, for driving it, it's great fun. Mailing a lap at the Hangar Ring feels great. But it feels fucking terrible if you're stuck behind someone who's half a second lap slower than you because you just don't have anywhere to overtake. Especially in GT cars. Formula 1 is kind of right because you've got the downforce. You can sort of throw it around the outside of Turn 1 and kind of make it work. You don't have that in GT because they're just too heavy. Thanks, sir. It'll be the next ones will be ones that they've already made in previous games where they just up resing because the files are already working. I say well, it's still the same engine; they just need to make it look pretty. Any good tracks that they've left out, so there is. Yeah. I so mean, when you think uh, that how many you think about how many circuits uh, Forza Motorsport Seven had, yeah, and Forza Motorsport and Forza Six had. You know what I mean? They had turn of the tracks and uh, on like, it's like even the career mode in today games was a lot better. Yeah, and I hated it in seven, and, and now I'm lamenting not having it. There's also still the um, Middle East tracks like Bahrain, Qatar. Uh, well, sorry, Qatar is Bahrain. Um, yes, Marina well, is the game. Bahrain is yeah Qatar and Bahrain. Bahrain, Bahrain is a country. Yeah, Qatar is in uh, Qatar, Saudi Arabia. Also yeah, I got it. Sorry, I got it mixed up. Yeah, so well, I think Qatar is a country. Yeah, it's it's, it's not sales market. I mean, Qatar is a country, but it's still ostensibly Saudi Arabia. Um, yeah, it's like a I mean, mile. every every golf golf um, country has track. Like there is Dubai, there is. Um, Jeddah, there is Qatar, there is Bahrain. Um, I don't know where Yas Marina is. I think it's, it's Abu Dhabi, um, UAE. So yeah, there you go. I, I, it's in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. There's at least five tracks in that small region. I'd like the uh, Dubai International it. Arena. That's a good track. I've not raced that since Need for Speed Shift Two. There's also track for Chinese Grand Prix for F1, right? Uh, so, um, yeah, Sepang. China? China's uh, the Sepang circuit. Yeah. Sepang is in uh, Malaysia. Oh, that, um, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I, I find both those tracks really shit anyway. So. I've seen this like mini documentary on the um, racetrack in Korea. They build it with um, they what they were planning to do is to build a racetrack and then build it's, city the around city around it. it. Yeah, so I had um, like yeah. a Monaco feel towards the end of it. Yeah, that is so, I can't remember the name of it now. Yeah, I don't remember the name, but they only had like one or two Formula One races, and that's it. Yeah, and two, nothing I think. ever happened after that. It's because it was basically the um, guy who was funding it got caught um, embezzling money. 
Same what happened with the uh, the Vietnam track that never existed, only existed in F1 22. That's a fun track. It's not like a great track, but it's like a it's so unique. It's like there's, there's nothing like that place. It's, it's never going to exist. That's the thing. So the the track organizer, yeah. the guy who ran it, got caught embezzling government money. So it's like, yep, got immediately revoked. Thank you, Minty. I meant to lift there, I didn't. That's not the mass. There we go, I'll, I'll lift now because I've just got massive left the track as well. Fuck me, I've only got two laps to go. One lap to go. Oh my god, front end grip, please. Gizzy. Alright. GG slash, great drive. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah, the map of mine. Yeah, GG, the <laughs> Oh no, you did it. Oh damn, I crashed the Austin. That does great, great, great. Uh, four minutes to finish the race now. Ooh. Right back. Glad this isn't our racing because I'd have been DQ'd for off tracks fucking an hour ago. Who's you? I think in a day I'd probably have about four second penalties by now. Now my tyres are shot. Yeah, I'm just annoyed. I managed. I tried desperately to try and eke out to a four stop race, but just the tyres ran out at the end. There's no way I was going to get another six laps off of the uh, the ones I was on. Sport enough. My fuel made me come in and get these new wet tyres and some fuel. That allowed me to keep that gap just close enough so that when you did pit, which I knew you'd have to do eventually, because I knew how my tyres had gone. I thought I thought I timed it just about right. big offs so yeah. and I'm still trying to get used to the clutch gearbox they so every time I spin and start I have to uh, dip the clutch get the revs back up I discovered too late in the race that you can send it in the rain a bit harder than I was sending it so but it wouldn't change anything for me because I, I, I had an accident yeah, and I it. dropped it. So yeah. oh, By the way, good job, Jabingus, just, just as I trained you. Yeah. You should have been up there too, but man, when that rain came out, that was so unfortunate. Uh, that engine pop, that's, yeah, that's I think that was the main reason I got in front of you, Nick, was when the rain came out. Yeah, I, I Where you went off and I just managed to squeeze the, squeeze the lap out yeah. and stay ahead of you. I just I got to that corner and there was just I, I was full right hand lock and it just crept off the road at like twenty mile an hour and just would not stop. You don't want I mean, to not be to faster. dump the gears didn't help, I must admit. Having to do that with hair. If we just really reversed not. in the pit. Hmm? Forty fifty seconds in the pits at least. Ah, uh, dear.
I missed pit by two seconds the bingo, so I still had a chance just to reverse and take the pit. That would be mm. so much faster. I'm just if I hadn't pit that lap for softs, I was hoping I was gonna get at least like five laps before rain came. Uh, but no, I got like I got like five corners. I am yes, so glad I finished. Whoa. We were at turn one when the rain came out, so we had to do like the whole the whole track on slicks. It's like that was the that was the worst. Uh, yeah, my that luck. happened to Nick. He just pitted, and then it started raining. Yeah, yeah. I was, I'd hit moderate on that lap, and I, I was, I think, where was I? I was coming down through the long Let's left, look. long left hander, and it just I, started. Wipers came on him. Like, oh, I had literally just uh, taken the first corner, and it started raining. And I was like, "Oh, you fucking kidding me, on man!" Oh yeah, no, I just came out of no name. That's where it was. I just came out of no name, and my wipers started going. I'm like, "Oh shit!" And the uh, thing is. It's fine if it's if the rain hits sudden like that. It's okay, but it still should take one lap for the track to actually be like wet. damp and yeah. wet. Yeah, you should, yeah. Have a, you should have a dry line, shouldn't you? Yeah, instead yeah. of yeah, like, there is no dry line at all. Yeah. No, that was my total race time is the same as my fastest lap time, by the way. Two eight <laughs> five nine. Two. I'm gonna be back in yeah. a second. Well. Bar is known for getting as soon as it starts raining, it becomes slick. It is known for it. How, how did that finish ahead of two people? Ah, uh, because they DNF'd. Mm. Crash, Jibber, I think, crashed and. Um, and Kuro uh, had, had died as well. Yeah. Oh. Oh, man. I just didn't have any pace oh, to keep up. 43, my whole car was damaged. That's where I threw it away. Oh, nice quarter mil. Hey, right, should we do that again? Yeah. I'm sorry. Nice stuff, that. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you are seeing this, thank you very much for making it to the end of uh, quite a long video where not a massive amount happened, let's be fair. But I had fun doing it. The as you can probably see visible frustration in me at a number of points in that race, especially the rain coming in six laps after I pit for softs and again slid off the track into the gravel and not been able to move for what felt like 18 years. Isn't the place to bust in. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I I had fun. That's what the script says. I I have to say at this point. Um, but yeah, if, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, do please a uh, drop a comment. Let me know you've made it all the way to the end of this quite long video. And if you did enjoy it, do press that little button that says subscribe. Give me a little thumbs up as well. That'd be a massive help for me. See, look, subliminal message in here with a thumbs up as well. But yeah, I will catch you in the next one. And a little bit of a spoiler. It's my hundredth video next. Yeah, hundredth video. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Cheers.